seven friends, four boys and three girls. Let's quickly draw them out. So we've got boy one, boy two, boy three, boy four. Oh no, let's not make sure, otherwise we're making it look like they all sit there. But we've got four boys and we've got three girls. Okay, uh, they want to stand in a straight line next to each other because that's what friends do. Um, to take a photo. Oh, I guess that is what we friends do. Okay, so in how many ways can the three girls stand next to each other in their photo? Okay, so the girls want to be next to each other, but it does not mean, this is the thing you need to understand, it doesn't mean that the boys are going to all be next to each other. Oh, uh, Kevin, what do you mean, bro? If the girls are next to each other, then the boys have to be. No, they don't. Check this out. You could have a boy here, and then you could have three girls, girl one, girl two, and girl three, and then you could have boy two, boy three, and boy four. No one said the boys all have to be next to each other. You could have boy one, boy two, then the girls. And so what we do is um, we just group the girls together. So let's make it random, like boy two, boy three, boy four, um, girl one, girl two, and girl three. So the way, we, the way I've taught you to do this is I want you to look at how many groups can you see. Well, there's one group. There's two groups. Well, that's group two. Group three, or well, how many units can we see? There's five units, so I want you to say five factorial. Then, inside each unit, are there any that have more than one item? Yes, inside here, there are three items. So I want you to say three factorial, like that, okay? Let me explain where this all comes from. The five factorial, this part over here, is telling us how many ways can we arrange these groups. You know, you could put you could put boy two, and then you could put uh, boy one, and then you could put girl, the girls together, okay? And then you could have boy four, and then boy three. But you could do that in a whole bunch of other ways. That's what helps us with the five factorial. Once that has been done, these girls can arrange themselves in multiple ways. You could have girl two, girl one, and then girl three. Or you could maybe have uh, girl three, then girl two, then girl one. That's where the three factorial comes from. All right. And so if we're to work this out, 720. So there are 720 different ways that you could do this where the girls will still be next to each other. Okay. Now, moving on to the next question. It says, in the next photo, determine the probability that Selwyn, who is a boy, um, and Lindiwe, who is a girl, will not stand next to each other. So whenever they do a question where they have the words at least, or they say will not, what we do is we do the complete opposite. We say, okay, we know that all probability, because they're saying probability in this question, all probability adds up to 100%, or you could think of it as the fraction of one. So what we are gonna go and do is we're gonna ignore that, and we're gonna say, what is the chance, or what is the probability? Ooh, what am I saying? Probability, probability that um, Sawan and Landiwe will sit together. Let's make them sit together. Ooh la la. That used to make me so nervous when I was in primary school. I'd like just sit next to a girl and then all the kids in the class would be like, na 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 na, sitting in a tree. Yeah, I used to go so red. Okay, anyways. Um, <laughs> so um, what we're going to do now is, okay, so we're just going to go take all the seven people. But we're going to make these two one unit. Ooh. So Selwyn and Lindiwe, they are a unit. So we will put a box around them. And then the rest would be um, the other five people. So uh, there's still another three boys, boy one, boy two, and boy three. And then there's still another two girls besides Lindiwe. So it's the same thing now. You're just gonna go work out how many things could you get here. Well, how many units can you see? One, two, three, four, five. No, wait, why is there six units now all of a sudden? Oh, because there were three girls earlier. One, two, three at one unit. Four, five, six. So you're gonna say six factorial. But now within this unit, there's two people. Lindiwe might sit there and then Selwyn will sit there, or Selwyn will sit there, and Lindiwe will sit there, so they could also arrange themselves, so that's two factorial. So if you work that out, 
that is 1,440 ways. So therefore, there are 1,440 1, ways where Selwyn and Lindiwe will sit together. What we're now going to work out is how many ways can these people sit together if there are no restrictions at all? Well, then you've just got seven people. So that's just going to be seven factorial, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Because there's seven units or seven things. And so you just say seven factorial. So um, let's quickly say now uh, Lindiwe and um, Selwyn. Could be Selwyn. <laughs> Lindiwe and Selwyn. Um, <laughs> Uh, sit together. Oh, we bra use it. My name is Selvain. Okay, Lindiwe and Selvain sit. Selvain sit together. Um, that would be a thousand four hundred and forty um ways. Then um, what was I gonna say? Um, how many ways can s the seven people sit? And this is with no restriction. So anyone can sit next to anyone. Well, that's where we said seven factorial. Um, did we even work that out? Seven factorial, which is 5,040. Seven factorial, which is 5,040. So now, how many ways can Selwyn and Lindiwe not sit next to each other? Well, if you, re you should just realize that you could simply minus these two values from each other, right? So we could say um, Selwyn and Lindiwe not sitting together. That would be 5,040 minus 1,440, and that would be uh, 3,600. So they said, what is the probability? So probability is always the, the answer that we are, the thing we're looking for, divided by the total, which is 5,040, and that's 5 over 7. So there is a... Um, five out of seven chance that they will not stand next to each other.